Harvey Firestone was born December 20th, 1868 in Columbiana, Ohio, and he was the second of three boys. So after attending school, Firestone went on to a brief stint in business college um, and then became a salesman with the Columbus Buggy Company. But when that business failed, he became unemployed. In 1895, Harvey Firestone married Ida Bell Smith. I think it's really interesting that her father was also an inventor, which is something you see with Thomas Edison, who married uh, Mina Miller, whose father was also a famous inventor. Kind of an interesting connection between the two men. In the 1890s, Harvey Firestone began to manufacture rubber tires for carriages. But seeing the automobile craze starting to hit the country at the turn of the century, he founded the Firestone Tire and Rubber Company in Akron, Ohio, which eventually became known as Rubber City, thanks in part to Firestone's contributions. So Firestone's company really starts taking off in 1906 when he acquires a contract with the Ford Motor Company, due in part to his burgeoning relationship with Henry Ford. So not unlike Henry Ford, one of the things that makes Harvey Firestone most successful early in his career is that he starts paying a lot of attention to the supply chain and the manufacturing process. He starts owning more and more pieces of the supply chain from the production of the rubber to the assembly of the tires. And it's very similar to what uh, Henry Ford does with the assembly line. Firestone later pioneered some breakthroughs which would become industry standards, including detachable rims and balloon tires. So in 1918, Firestone launched the Ship by Truck campaign where he's trying to encourage something that sounds very normal and routine today, the shipment of goods by trucks across the highway system of America. But in doing so, he encourages a few things. He encourages more tires on the roads, which is certainly good for his bottom line, uh, more consumer access to goods, and he's also advocating for our highway system in this country. But interestingly, throughout his life, Firestone also uh, was really drawn to the farm life which is a tie that he and Henry Ford both shared. They had both grown, grown up on kind of a Midwestern rural farm setting. And the car behind me is actually a testament to his interest in kind of getting back to the land and back to nature. Later in life, uh, Harvey Firestone, along with Thomas Edison, Henry Ford, and John Burroughs would become known as the Vagabonds, and they would traipse around the country on camping trips in vehicles like the chuck wagon behind me. So at the turn of the 20th century, Firestone had a lot of competitors in the early tire industry, and their names you might recognize today. B.F. Goodrich, Uniroyal, Goodyear, um, all of these were competitors early on, and he would need more than just refined production techniques to be competitive. So in 1909, uh, the winner of the Indianapolis Sweepstakes, a very popular race in the Midwest, is won on Firestone tires. So Firestone tires become increasingly linked to the very popular automobile racing industry in America, and this does wonders for their sales. In fact, their marketing department will develop the, the uh, slogan, win on Sunday, sell on Monday. And that's very telling when you think about how important that connection was for the company. Uh, today, their legacy is still carried on in automobile racing with the St. Pete Grand Prix. What people might not know about Harvey Firestone, he received four United States patents throughout his illustrious career. He worked and partnered with Thomas Edison on the rubber research project in Fort Myers, Florida. In July of 1927, Henry Ford, Harvey Firestone, and Edison, they formed the Edison Botanic Research Corporation, which their main objective was to find a viable source of natural rubber that could be grown and cultivated in the United States, specifically, South Florida, but with the idea of actually potentially expanding the project to other parts of the United States as well. His achievements and contributions to fields such as automotive technology and transportation and business led to his election to multiple Hall of Fames, including the National Inventors Hall of Fame, the Motocross Hall of Fame of America, the Automobile Hall of Fame, as well as the prestigious Florida Inventors Hall of Fame, located at the University of South Florida in Tampa. Harvey Firestone would want to be remembered as a man who was a visionary, who seized opportunities to really change the world for the better. Uh, I believe it was his steadfast determination and pioneering spirit that really drove his legacy.